Hello, and welcome back to the Efficient Skillet. My name is Willie, and I hope that you're doing extremely well out there. I know that I am. Today's cooking video is brought to you in part by Dr. Ralph K. Yinke, Polk County's dentist. Dr. Yinke has always been Polk County's dentist and provides gentle, caring atmosphere covering all phases of dentistry, preventive dentistry, restorative dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, implants, endodontics, oral surgery, periodontics, occlusal analysis. Dr. Yiki has excellent specialists for the many complex services. They're located in downtown Livingston. Click their ad on our top headlines page. Today we're going to cook some healthy noodles. That's zucchini noodles. Zoodles. Okay, one of the first things I want to say at the, about these uh, zoodle, this zoodles is it's, it's uh, zoodles are really just squash that's turned into spaghetti. That's what uh, zucchini is, it's squash. But one plate of regular pasta has 800 calories and one plate of zoodles has 60 calories. One plate of pasta has 160 grams of carbs and one plate of zoodles, the same amount, has 8 grams of carbs. So they're really healthy. Now the first thing you want to do is I put uh, four cloves of chopped garlic in my pan and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take my zucchinis here and I'm going to cut the ends off like this, throw those away. And I was at uh, Ross the other day and they have this thing called, a, uh, I couldn't resist it and I love to go to Ross, me and Angel, my wife love Ross, but they had this thing called a fajetti, as seen on TV, you know. And it's really neat. And what you do is you take uh, whatever kind of vegetable you want. You can do carrots or whatever. In this case, we're using zucchini. And you take your zucchini and you put it into this little, it's like a pencil sharpener. And you just turn like this. And what happens is um, the, it spirals the zucchini into like spaghetti. So what you do is you just turn it like this. And when you get to the end where it's starting to get kind of close and you can't seem to get your hand in here, it comes with this thing right here. You just press it into that and then turn like this and you get all just about all of your uh, zucchini without wasting any. It's really a cool little device. Now they have different other, other spiral things they sell like at Walmart and stuff, but this uh, Vigetti thing is really neat. Barely has a little bit left. You can cook that if you want. I just throw it away. And you take your uh, your zoodles and you put them in your pan. See how it, look at that. The cool thing about this zucchini is it takes on the kind of the texture and characteristics of, of regular spaghetti, except it's just healthy. And folks, I promise you're gonna love this dish. It tastes so good. So do the rest of your, uh, I've got five of them here uh, for a nice big pan full. That's, that's what I say, five and um, do the rest of them and put them all into your skillet. One of the things I forgot to mention is this vegetti comes with the, uh, two different sides. This one right here is real fine, much skinnier spaghetti. And this side that I'm using does the fat, wider spaghetti. I like to use the fat side because I like that's how I like my, uh, my zoodles. Once you get your, uh, your, your uh, zoodles all put into the pan from uh, five zucchinis, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, take some uh, kosher salt and I'm gonna put three good sized pinches of kosher salt into our zoodles here. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, over in the, the grocery store, you can get this Nor pesto sauce. It's really neat. It's like a dollar thirty-five, I believe it is what I paid for this. It, it's an envelope of pe uh, pesto seasoning, and what you do is you take the uh, you take two, I've got here two thirds of a cup of water, and you uh, put your pesto seasoning into the two thirds cup of water, and then you add uh, one third cup of of uh, olive oil, one third cup of olive oil. And then you whisk it together. And 
And here's your pesto sauce. Now what we're gonna do is take this pesto and just pour it all over this, all over our zoodles. And as always, I'd like to waste as little as possible, so I gotta use my little rubber spatula thing. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our skillet onto 250 degrees. We're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna give this about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll check on it in 20 minutes and we might be there. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes now. Let's take a look. Now, these, uh, one thing about these uh, zoodles is it's, they're made of zucchini, which is a vegetable, so there's, it has a lot of water in it, and that water will come out when you cook, and these are ready, so I'm going to turn our electric skillet off, and we're going to take some out. Now, one thing you might want to do is uh, take your zoodles and put, uh, put just some Parmesan on them. I know the Parmesan's not uh, completely healthy, but man, it sure is good. Put just some Parmesan on there. Take a bite. Mmm. Man, that is just so good. Oh my goodness, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. You know, it's amazing how something this healthy could taste this good. You, I mean, folks, you're gonna absolutely love this stuff. For all you keto folks out there, this you might wanna check this out. It's a great way to go. It'll bring you a lot of satisfaction without all the carbs. Mm. It's just so delicious. And this is very basic here. You could also add tomato sauce to this if you like. You could do a stir fry and put some shrimp in it. This is just very basic. This doesn't even have any meat or anything. All it has is some Parmesan cheese and then the seasonings. And it's just so delicious. Mm. You're gonna love it, I promise. So anyway, we hope you try it and we hope you like it. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. Feel free to comment below and say whatever you want. If you think I'm ugly, you can comment on it. If you think I'm just a sexy, good looking man, you can comment that too. Or if you have any critiques about my cooking. And you can email us, efficientskillet at gmail.com. Make America great again.